Hello, this is Guamu Tacos, and welcome to another Heroes of the Storm video. I am still playing Lily. <laughs> yes, I concur, Lily. I love that particular line. I wish I could get her to say that more often. I love the way the voice actor says that one. I am still obsessed with Lily. Haven't broken my addiction yet. Ten seconds. Nor have I been given an excuse to break it yet. Three, two, one. I know this is probably jinxing to say, but I've shown you how many how many days, at least in in the history that it shows how long I've been playing Lily, and you'll have to take my word. I've been playing her longer than that. And yet, you also saw in that video that I only have one daily, and I've only kept one daily. It continues to give me dailies that I can complete as Lily, so I have no reason to switch. When it does, I'll probably record a video, but... Until then, I'm gonna keep playing Lily. Also, right off the bat, we've got volume issues and we've got frame rate issues. Let me lower the volume here. I had to raise it because uh, apparently it got lowered too low before I started recording because in the, the main menu it was very very quiet so I had to raise it and apparently I raised it too high just lowered it just a little the bar is so sensitive it's all the effects going off There should have only been two of us top anyways. I don't know why Gul'dan came this way. Abathur is a hero, but he's not a laning hero. And <laughs> Tracer comes top. We don't need three people up here. So yeah, still playing lately. Still playing quite a few games a day. I only played, I think, nine yesterday. I got, I played enough to get my uh, daily done, my eight games daily, and then played, I think, one or two more games after. But that's a low amount compared to what I, what I normally play in a day when I have the time. I need to continue painting my Warhammer 40,000 models. I skipped out on that yesterday. I completely forgot about it until just now. I'm trying to paint one model a day. Because it's not something I enjoy doing, but it is something that needs to get done. Still casually lowering the volume here. I don't know if that's too low or just perfect. Because I want you all to be able to hear the game. I will be happy when when I finally get rid of this headset. I should have already replaced it. You. You. I was gonna say something bad there, but I didn't. I fought it. Good job, Tracer. I'm only half paying attention to this match. I'm too busy ranting about Lily. I have not done a Lily video since I started with my addiction with Lily where I haven't died, so I'm trying to fix that if nothing else. Did you just pulse bomb a door or a tower? That's not a very good use of a pulse bomb. I mean, there's pop it, don't drop it, and then there's just waste it, you know? This is going pretty well so far. You're not going to be able to heal through all that. I'm going this way. I'll wait for you as much as you waited for me. Not at all!
Zerg threat eliminated. Oh, thank goodness. Somebody's come online. I've started I've started building up a, a small circle of people I can play with that uh, are like me that are only playing AI either for uh, new reasons or personal reasons like mine just that they prefer it I'm sure some of the ones that are, are just new um, there's a couple there's a couple who are not level 40 I'm sure once they they feel more acquainted with the game they'll switch to to human opponents but maybe one day they'll switch back like I had, like I like I did, like I got tired of uh, fighting humans. It's not it's not worth the trouble. The extra gold and XP isn't worth it. I mean, you all saw you saw in in that last video I did how much gold I have. I don't need gold. I don't need gold for anything. And I honestly feel that it's it's faster to play AI over and over and over with guaranteed wins and grind out that way than try to play uh, versus human opponents and do nothing but lose over and over and over again which in my experience is what happens I'm the kind of guy where where if I play and with human people I'll play 10 games and win one of them and none of the losses will be my fault except maybe maybe one <laughs> maybe one Maybe I'll get ganked and proceed to get proceed to get sold out and ganked for the rest of the game. That happens sometimes. You'll, you'll play against uh, a, um, teams who are obviously grouped or have a higher level of, of cooperation for whatever reason. It's almost always because they're grouped, and they'll they'll end up just picking out a single picking out a single target and just harassing that one player endlessly to the point where they have to sit behind a gate and do literally nothing. It happens. But I'm just saying, I, I I tend to be very unlucky with uh, getting picked with players. They say the grass is always green on the other side. That's definitely true when it comes to Heroes of the Storm. I will always be on the losing team. I'm never part of the winning team. And it's not my fault. I need to try to hold that. Back from them. And double kill. Hooray! Here, have some healing. Killing spree. A well timed heal, friend. How much longer on this thing? Not long at all. I'll take the orb, please. But yeah, but I, I, I did a test when. It was Ariel came out. I did a test and I found that the experience for winning AI is is about the same as losing in in a uh, player based mode, like a human based mode. So so if you win in, in those modes, it's worth more. But games against AI usually take 10, 15 minutes tops. The average time is longer in in uh, player matches because the players players put up more of a fight than AI do. But um, with AI, the matches are not only shorter; they're almost always wins, with some exceptions. Not many. Enemy defeated. Abathor is constantly fading out, in and out. I'm going this that way. So, I was able to play more games at a faster rate than than in uh, like normal uh, uh, player, like playing against players. I was able to play more games playing against AI, and it's uh. The, the wins here are, are just more reliable XP. Especially because when I really want to grind a hero, I'll just buy a stim pack, and that really does help pick up the pace as well. I think, um, 
a lot of people. It's especially probably the thing that that the people I'm finding have been doing um, with with the new party system experience thing that they've done. It it makes a lot of sense to just join up with a group of five people, even if you don't know them all that well, and then just do AI because the games go really fast and all that all that experience boost. It just it makes the grind easier. AI is just so so much more stress free than than playing against humans is. And it, it it feels this. I know this is just a more of a community thing, but it, it feels it feels like the the community around AI is just. Better, like we're 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 better people. <laughs> we're not as bad as, as as like hero league players and stuff like that. And I, I know that that that's self-explanatory, but I mean, we AI people either tend to say nothing or they tend to be complimentary. And I've seen way more complimentary players in AI than I have seen against human players. I get I get compliments for for my healing as Lily. Uh, for doing really well, even in AI, um, against human opponents, no. I've, I've never had that in Heroes of the Storm, and when I've had that in League of Legends, it's very rare. It's just I get, I get, it's, it's very satisfying to, to play Lily. Do really, really well, not die, have the most healing, maybe even get MVP, and get a get at least a couple of votes, even even if it's just one one vote up at the end there, and have somebody in chat say like nice healing or whatever, because I don't get that when I play against uh, against human opponents. People in AI are, are just nicer. Yeah, the, uh, a couple of days ago I was playing a game and there was an Abathor player and the Abathor player came in and he said whoops I meant to Q4 for human opponents, uh, quick Triple. match or whatever and uh, I, I commented and I said that's okay we're, we're, we're less biased against Abathor players here and he, and he laughed because he he understood what I mean Ab or what I meant Abathor has a lot of bias against him not not true in, in, in AI. Like right now, I could be playing. I could be playing Vikings, and I could play Vikings the way I want to play Vikings. And more than likely, even if people disapprove of it, they're not going to say anything because it's AI. Most people aren't worried. And if they are worried, they'll they'll say. I mean, if if they do are worried and they say something, they'll say something and then just they'll drop it. They won't make a big deal out of it because. They know, even if they consider me a bumbling buffoon, my bumbling buffoon will not cost the match. It can't cost the match. It's it's AI. Even if we lose against AI, I guarantee you it's never my fault to begin with. But I, I've never I've never been fortunate enough or unfortunate enough to, to lose because of an idiot playing Vikings and AI. Because boy, they never let me live that down. That'd be my fault, even if I was zero deaths, MPVP, most killed, most assist, most hero damage, most each damage, most XP computer No, that'd be my fault somehow. Guarantee it. Karen freaking T it. They, they put that on a Viking player in a heartbeat. Ugh. I'm just saying. We're, there's, there's... The reason, I've said before, the reason why I played things like Quick Match over things like Hero League is because when you go into things like Hero League, players take it too seriously. Um, AI is is the furthest away from that you can get. AI is is just there's 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 no nobody nobody is cares, but it, it's not like it's not like League was. It's not like League was where in League you get people who say it's just AI. Don't like they 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 take it they don't take it seriously. They don't take okay. <laughs> Taking it seriously is the wrong way. Wrong way to say it. They they play, they don't play the match like they would play it against humans. 
my thing is, it is even when you're playing against AI, treat the AI with the level of intelligence that you would fight a human opponent, because that just means you're going to play against them better. And the match goes by faster, and you win better, and you win faster. And that should be what everybody wants. And that's that's my experience, and usually what, what I get in, in Heroes of the Storm. I haven't, I haven't met a lot of people who do extremely outlandish, stupid builds, and, and basic troll. Trolling is the right word. I haven't met anybody who trolls an AI just because it's AI, bro. You know, like, I don't care if I lose. No. Everyone I've met is still is still trying to actually play the game mode, you know? They just don't take it as seriously as they would against human opponents. And I do. That That's my thing. I understand that. I take... Um, I try to take it as seriously as I would fighting a, fighting a human opponent because that just means it's easier. If I take him seriously, I don't make mistakes as often. And it becomes a nice, quick game. Everybody's happy. I know I, I, I basically ranted there for a long time, but that's why I continue to do these Heroes of the Storm videos. I, I realized the gameplay must have stopped being interesting a long time ago. It's just, it's an opportunity to rant. It really is, and it's a break. It's a it's a breakaway day from from the other recording slots. I haven't even looked at the score screen. I don't want to. I'm just saying I I haven't I haven't encountered any trolls in AI, and I've played a lot of AI games. I don't encounter a lot of trolls in in the other game modes either. Heroes of the Storm just has has a better community, and it's a lot newer. When I started League of Legends, League of Legends was was a lot better of a place, but it got it got real toxic over time. And Heroes of the Storm might turn into that, but it's honestly it's looking the other it's looking to go the complete opposite way. Um, I've heard um, apparently. Heroes of the Storm is, is fading in popularity. It's not doing as well as it has before, uh, especially compared to games like Overwatch. And I believe that, and I know the reason why. I know the reason why. It's not because of, of Overwatch. It's not because it's it's a MOBA. People still like MOBAs. MOBA is still a very popular genre. Again, look at League. The the thing is, it's just Heroes of the Storm is a very poorly run. MOBA, in my opinion. I've, I've gone into that many times before. They need to release new content at a much faster rate than they do. Needs to be one here, a new hero every other week, if not a hero every week. Especially right now with the roster at this size. They got, they have to pick up the pace with content release. And they have to... <laughs> Heroes has a lot of balance issues. It's always had a lot of balance issues. They need to work on that as well. It's been a whole week and they haven't nerfed Samurai again. And I'm fairly sure his win rate is still pretty ludicrous. You would have died to that fish. GG. Now let's see who, who got where. Probably Jenna because I don't think she died. So she'd be highest something in damage. No gold man, even though he died. MVP. Was I the only one on our team who didn't die? I'll probably play somewhere in the five. Nope! <laughs> Apparently I didn't do anything noteworthy. Let's go look at what I did do. Apparently I'm not noteworthy. Well, I was the highest healer, and I was the highest contributed XP out of everyone, and I was zero deaths. Apparently, none of these things are noteworthy. Eh. Oh well. Tis the tis the the acceptance of a healer. You you learn that that it is not your place to be recognized, but recognition is nice when it comes. All right, thank you all for watching, and this is Wamataku signing off. Take care and bye bye. And the new Let's Play starts tomorrow, so. Get excited for that. Bye.